first opened back in 2010. There's a shot of Target Field here in downtown Minneapolis. The 85th Midsummer Classic between the National League All-Stars and the American League All-Stars. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special coverage of the Major League Baseball All-Star Game here on the show. I'll be joined in a moment by Eric Harris and Steve Lyons, but first, let's give you a look at this year's American and National League All-Star Starters. As this year, fans cast close to 400 million votes online. A staggering number. Some of the sights and sounds of this 85th All-Star Game from Target Field. We'll be back to get it all underway right after this. Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch. Let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, your 2014 American League All-Star. Briefly now, we'll look at the two men named by their managers to get the ball here to begin this All-Star game. The guys will have much more to talk about as the night progresses, but first, let's have a look at the batting order for the National League All-Stars. As manager Mike Matheny will line his guys up this way. They'll match up against the breaking ball specialist, right-hander A.J. Griffin. And in the field behind him, the American League stars look like this. Andrew McCutcheon. The move towards the batter's boxes. We're just about set to get underway tonight. Swing and a line drive to left. Into a slide as he makes a great basket catch. Yeah, he's coming on quickly here. Let's see him show motion if he makes the play. Yep, sure enough, he got to it before it touched the ground. Nicely done. Daniel Murphy will dig in here. This will be lined into center field, and they've got themselves their first hit of the ball game. A couple of hard hit balls here to start the inning. Third, the first one found a glove, but Dodgers, not this one, though. He's on with a one out single. Yasiel Puig. Yasiel Puig will get his first shot now with the runner at first following the one out single. Here's the first offering. First pitch of the A.B. is swung on and lifted in the air to straightaway center. Under this one is crisp, and that's out number two. Well, that's about as easy as they come right there, and certainly not too taxing on the arm either. This is a first pitch changeup, and it's down in the zone. But he goes down there and tries to hit it anyway, and he doesn't put a very good swing on it. 
Ryan Howard will get his first cuts here with two gone now and a runner at first. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. Yeah, showing no fear there. He put the pitch right at the letters away, but that guy didn't want any part of it. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. A runner on first with two away. Got him. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. It's the National League nothing. American Leaguers coming to bat. You're watching the Major League Baseball All-Star Game exclusively on the show. Starting lineup for the AL Stars is on your screen. They'll go to work against the hard-throwing right-hander Matt Harvey as you see his numbers there. Right back to work as the shortstop Jose Reyes digs in to lead off the bottom of inning number one. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. And this is going to be a foul ball. The one two. Now a fastball as this is hit fairly well out toward left center. Catch is made out there by McCutcheon and that's the first out. Norichka Aoki will step in now. From the Kansas City Royals, right fielder, Norichka. In there, strike one. A little bit of hang time there to that curveball. I don't think that's exactly where he's going to want to throw that pitch going forward. It worked out right there, but he better find a little extra snap on that pitch in the future. Bases are empty, one man out. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Here's another 0-2. Lined hard to center field. In there, a base hit. Edwin Encarnacion will stand in now as we've got a couple of All-Stars from last year squaring off in this one. Yeah, a couple of first-time All-Stars, too. Both guys coming off of great years. And he gives this one a pretty good ride down the left field line. And they're going to call this a home run. And now hold on just a second here. You can see the four umpires gathering near third. And it would appear that they're going to discuss whether this in fact stayed inside the foul pole. And I would guess that after all the discussion, they're going to go inside and have a look at the video replay. And that is indeed what they'll do as we'll take a look and let you decide for yourself. All right, the review looks like it's over. Was there indisputable video evidence? Yes, it's a foul ball after all. So take the home run off the board, and there's an instance where the video review got it right. And this is fouled straight back. Runners on first with one down. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. And this is high for a ball. So from 0-2, he's worked it back to 2-2 two and two now. And when he's down 0-2, he's smart enough to know guys are going to try and get him to chase. So now at 2-2, two two, he's got himself back to a spot where he doesn't have to go after a pitcher's pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Well, nobody in that dugout is going to give him high fives for striking out. But, you know, at least he forced that starter to expend a lot of energy here to get the job done. You know, in the first inning, that won't be lost on his teammates. Evan Longoria is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. And, oh. and, ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, 1-1. One and, one. and after that call, you know he's got to be turning around to say something like, hey, you know what? This guy doesn't need any help. 
And this is fouled back and out of play. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. On to the second inning now for Minneapolis with no score. Troy Tulowitzki will lead things off here as it'll be 5, 6, and 7 due up to kick off the second. Troy Tulowitzki. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. and oh. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. and oh. And this is all about handling a guy like this with kid gloves. You know, walk him if you have to, but don't let him be the one to beat you. Now a fastball that's popped up. Now towards short right field. Waiting for it now is Pedroia. One down. Mm. These are the ones that are hard to swallow. You've got the count in your favor. 2-0, oh, you get a fastball right down the pipe, you wind up popping it straight up. And that's a missed opportunity, folks. Big time. Now a swing, and he pops him up. Right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And two quick outs here in the second. Carlos Gonzalez will stand in here looking to keep the inning alive with two gone now in the top of the second. Foul back. Hit hard toward the right side. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. And he is in the second with a two-out double. Paul Goldschmidt will get an opportunity here in a run scoring spot now following the two out double. And a good pitch there as this ball's popped high in the air out towards second base. And Reyes will put this one away, and the side is retired. Danger reverse. David Ortiz will start things off in the bottom of the second. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And the first pitch to the 38-year-old veteran is in for a called strike. Nothing in one. And on the mound here, you got to make sure you pitch to the shift. You don't want to make it easier for a guy to go the other way on you. Now a ground ball here just to the left of second. Throw on to first takes care of Ortiz as the shift works to perfection that time. One away. Batting six from the Texas Rangers. Left fielder. Shinsu Shin Chu steps in now. Shin now here's the first pitch. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as you'll take a look at strike one. That's one of those fastballs that just never feels like it's going to be a strike. It's up at the letters and... That's a tough one to do anything with. And here's a ball hit in the air. And there to grab it is Tulowitzki for route number two. Coco Crisp will get his first chance now. Trying to get something started with two away here in the bottom of the second. And that's in there for a strike. And a swing and a miss there by Coco as he's down in the count. Nothing in two. This is the trouble when you're facing a guy like this. You get into a hole and night. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three. And that will retire the side. One, two, three. Go in the American League. We'll move to the third with no score. Anibal Sanchez is on and he'll take over on the mound. Number 19, Anibal Sanchez. 
Buster Posey will step in here to start their half of the third with the top of the order to follow. Buster Posey. On a big swing there as this is hit deep to center field. Backing up on it is Crisp, and he'll be there to make the play. Nicely done. With one away, we'll give you a look at last year's leaders in the war category, wins above replacement. And now here's Steve Lyons to explain in detail what that means. Uh, what, the higher the better? Is, is that the way it works? But you see our next hitter featuring prominently on that list with good reason. Andrew McCutcheon will try it once more. He lined out to start the ball game. First pitch coming now from Sanchez. Right-hander against right-hander as this is a ball 1-0. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball game. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Up high, two and one now. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. And they know full well the threat that this guy poses. So even down three and one, I can't imagine he's going to get anything that he can drive right here. And that'll get down for a base hit. Daniel Murphy will stand in. A base hit his first time around. Second baseman, Daniel Murphy. And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have. 0-1. Oh, that's a good fastball right there. And you had to figure that he was looking for that sinker. Runners on the move for second. Pitch swung out and missed the throw. And they will not get McCutcheon here. He's in safely at second base. And in a scoreless ball game, a lot of times it's a manufactured run that gets your guys on the board first. And they'll have an opportunity to do so now as he's in scoring position on the stolen base. Here's a swing and a ground ball. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Well, at the very least, he does move that runner up to third base. But now with two away it. now, I don't right think that's Taylor. exactly what he was hoping Yasiel to accomplish. I think he Puig. wanted to drive him in. Yasiel Puig will try it again. He flew out his first time. In the air to straightaway center field. And Coco will tuck this one away for the third out of the inning. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. Back with more of our All-Star Game coverage in a moment. Dustin Pedroia makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Cole Hamels will come in and pitch now. Eight, nine, and one to start the inning as the first pitch misses for ball one. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Such a tough pitch to lay off there. The two-seamer working away with two strikes, but he lets it go. Maybe just because he knew he couldn't hit it. And this is swung on and bounced to shortstop. Throw on to first by Tulowitzki is in time for route number one. From the Boston Red Sox, 
So one away here with the bases empty. And in steps their catcher, A.J. Pierzynski. Now a check swing here and a little looper. And this is taken in for the second out. Uh, this is a gift right here. He can't make up his mind whether to go after this pitch or not. So he does the worst thing you can do, which is go for it halfway. This turns into an easy little check swing liner over to first. Jose Reyes will try.